Well, welcome back to our training information. We have more uh, information in terms of history, a little bit of the technical, and we have a very nice set of trains we're going to talk about today. And it's an exact replica of the real world locomotives, and it's somewhat relevant to today's thought on, well, as related to electric vehicles, electric this and that, and um, doing all the fossil fuels and that whole nine yards. This is nothing new in terms of electric locomotives. Back in the 1870s, there was exploration into electrification of locomotives instead of using coal or wood burning uh, steamers. But we won't go into that. We're going to fast forward into the 1950s where General Electric actually made these electrified locomotives. And it was called the EP5s, the New Haven EP5, and it's, it's called New Haven because that's where it started out with. That's the electric, uh, General Electric who actually made these. The, um, the EP5 uses a, uh, a double-end mercury arc rectifier, and it actually touches an overhead wire as it goes the entire length of the, uh, the railroad. So in 1955, the uh, locomotive ran from, oh, I would say from Grand Central Station or Penn Station, all up to New Haven, and parts of to New Hartford too. Now, for you viewers out there, uh, you may have been to the East Coast, or maybe not, but I know at least one of the viewers who's been with me up in New Hartford, and they, and you kind of know what it's like uh, up there. So. I'm going to show you uh, the models of these actual trains in two different scales. One is the S gauge American Flyer, and the other one is actually a, also a um, somewhat vintage now uh, Williams O gauge. And these are two double headers. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. I have uh, the two sets right behind me. And I'm going to take my camera off, so the manually I'm going to show you how, what it looks like. So hang on. This is it. The, two, the set of trains in the foreground in front of you is the S gauge, made by American Flyer. The larger ones in the background is made by Williams. It's an O gauge. So what is the difference between the, the big brother and the little brother, or big sister and little sister, or big brother, little sister, or big sister, little brother, however you want to call it? Um, what is the difference? Well, I'm going to show you uh, some a little bit of the technical dif uh, differentiations between the two, you know, besides the size, obviously. But here's some close-up pictures of what the uh, New Haven EPs look like. It's a beautiful color scheme, orange, black, and white. And in real life, they actually use that color. It's one of the more beautiful locomotives ever made uh, in real life and also in the modeling industry. So here we are. It's, it's, quite, it's quite nice, I think. So you're probably asking, what is that stuff that's sticking up in the front? Well, that's the, uh, the pantographs. We actually, where, the electricity, where it picks up the electricity uh, this is in real life now, where it picks up electricity to run the locomotives. And only one pentagraph is usually up uh, while they're running. The other one just sits on, on you know, uh, you know uh, in the bottom. So here it is. Both models have the same thing. Pentagraph on top. And of course, you have your, if you can see this uh, closely, you have your, your horns in the front, and these are the trucks. And here's the front end view of the, uh, the sets. Quite nice. Uh, the headlights do light up. Uh, on the bigger Williams, there's a red marker light on the front and the back of the cars. These are the red marker lights, and they do light up. The American Flyer does have an operating headlight, and that's really uh, about it in terms of the lighting system. So, and of course, now the Williams O gauge runs on three tracks. 
as you can see here. The American Flyer runs on two tracks. So in the actual models, how does these trains pick up the electricity to make it uh, move? Well, Williams used the third rail. The third rail is the middle rail. You see the black rail? That's the uh, electrified rail where the Williams uh, old gauge or any old gauge uh, locomotives will pick up the electricity. The American Flyer, there's only one rail is electrified. There is no third rail. This is actually more in line with the actual uh, setup of the uh, true uh, two-track railroads in real life. So I'm going to explain how this actually works. Okay, we're back to the Williams O gauge. Now you see this roller? That is the pickup for the electricity on the Williams O gauge for that from that third rail that I was talking about previously. So that was their mechanism. And they used the still uh, regular gears to run the uh, locomotives, uh, the old time great gears. Uh, American Flyer uses a different, slightly uh, different system. So let's go on to the American Flyer. Notice there's no rollers. However, they do have brass wheels on the as part of the pick, electrical pickup. They also have another electrical pickup right here. So that goes on the opposite rail. If you go to the back truck, you notice the um, the pickup. This uh, additional pickup is on the opposite side. So. That's it. That's really about it. That's the difference between the S gauge and the O gauge. Okay, we're going to go through the actual train room. I'm going to run the trains and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Hang on. Okay, we are back. I'm going to first run the uh, the Williams O gauge train on uh, the three uh, rail tracks. It has a diesel sound and it has a horn. And the lights do work. Need a little more power to run it up. And you have your passenger car following the, uh, the double diesel. coming out of the tunnel. And there it is.
And there you have it. That's the, uh, the old gauge. Now we go over to the S gauge American Flyer. This is the uh, S gauge EP5 New Haven with the New Haven cars, passenger cars. And these are exactly the same cars that are used or were used uh, with the EPs back in the 1950s and 60s. So here we go. That's it.